we're live <laughs> right so good morning good afternoon youtube whatever good evening what, whatever oh god that sun's bright whatever time of day you're watching this we're live back on this uh, 2007 Corsa d z12 xep engine and uh, the garage have put the original cams back in it so let me just show you so we've got the original cams back in it we've currently got the wps in cylinder one but i have had it in cylinder two we've got the coil on plug extension leads into the coil and we've got uh, the dead cylinder the spark plug there going down to down to earth to save overloading the the coil and the injector disconnected which have done the same for whichever cylinder so just to recap this vehicle had a single cylinder misfire and the ECU was turning the injector off um, it had new camshafts put in it and this is the scope trace that we took on the last video of the old cylinder 2 so just to just to just to recap that's the the old cylinder 2 there we have compression pressure of about 7 747 7.547 bar morning 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 <laughs> right so that was the old compression pressure seven and a half bar at idle we drag some rulers across here from the bottom right we're just looking very 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 simply right okay my 180 degree marker can you see where it is lining up on there morning everybody right so now what we'll do is we'll drop that down we'll zero that out so all we have to do is type zero in the bar hit enter and it drops that ruler down to zero for us drag another ruler down approximately 783 negative millibar pressure okay so now this, what we've done here, took, this is a cylinder two capture now with the old cam, the original cam back in. Morning Dylan. Warm engine, pull the ruler down, roughly about six bar pressure. Okay, drop that down to zero. Drag another ruler down. About 690 millibar negative. 783, about 690 to 700. Okay, we don't have to be, don't have to be dead scientific. We're looking for the bad apple in the barrel. Drag our rulers across. TDC. Next ruler. TDC. You can see our 180 degree marker is halfway up the exhaust ramp. Yeah, the vehicle's got no no VVT, nothing like that. So our 180 is halfway up the exhaust ramp. Our 360, you can see it's a few degrees before it drops off. Okay, let's look at the old cam, or, or should you say the new cam? You can see our 180. Is in a significantly different place, about 10 degrees different. And look where our 360 is. And look here also, uh, where our compression is starting to build up. So that's the, the new replacement cam. This is the original cam with no misfire on a good cylinder. It's the same cylinder, cylinder 2. Replacement cam, original cam. Replacement cam, original cam, okay. And then what we'll do is we'll actually throw in now the cylinder one capture, so taking on the same trigger. Yeah, so our cylinder one, and we can use these rulers the same, we'll drag it over. You 
obviously the timing and everything's in, but look at the difference there. Just look at the difference in the exhaust plateau where the where the 360 degree marker is. So that's your 360 degree marker on the blue, which is still the one that's misfiring. And your 360 degree on your black that's misfiring. That's pretty much the same there. We can leave that ruler there. So just a slight variation in engine speed. So 360 on the one without a misfire. 360 on the one with the misfire. Without misfire, with misfire. So we've definitely got something going on with the way the valves are opening and closing on the original cams. Hey Jake, how are you? <laughs> so we'll just go with the good cylinder. Okay, so this is cylinder two, or original cam. Cylinder two, replacement cam. Compression pressures are different. Valve timing is different, valve opening and closing is different. Exhaust manifold, um, it's not vacuum, negative pressure is different. So in other words, we've got problems with the cams. There you go, the power Pico, we've proved it. There's a problem with it. Time to get it sorted. Anybody want me to do any more measurement, measurements in that while you while I'm here? No. Must be there's a bit of a time delay there, I think. Yeah. So that's the. Replacement cam, original cam. You can quite clearly see there's a difference at the 180 and the 360 degree time stamps, time marks. Be it cam profile, um, whatever, it's still got the original lifters in it, so the only variable there is the actual cam profile itself. I think so, mate. Yeah, yeah. I think it is. I think it's 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 uh, miles. It's running. It's running absolutely perfectly now. We've just got a cylinder one misfire. Yeah, and that's um, so. There we go. The black is cylinder two, and then we'll add in cylinder one that's got the misfire. Yeah, you can see our exhaust plateaus are a lot nicer on cylinder two than cylinder one and these are both the replacement these are the, these are the original cams this is yeah yeah so we don't we don't really need to go into too in depth into it it's as clear as night and day there one job you're right so there we go <coughs> um you know it's it, it's uh, it's a bit hard. People want things to go really, really in depth um, with the, with the insulin pressure analysis. What I will do is we've already got um, a discussion up on the old one, um, on the old thread on the Simply Dag YouTube group. What I will do now, I will save these PS data files and I will upload them to the file section of Simply Dag YT, and then we can all have a look at them together. And then when I'm back from Auto Mechanica at the weekend. We'll do another live stream and we'll we'll analyse them properly and, and then we can come to a definite conclusion as to what, what exactly was wrong with it, whether it was exhaust timing, inlet timing, valve lift, whatever it was. Um, but I will upload this PS data file to the Simply Diag YT group so you can all have a look at it and you can have a play with it. Alright. Awesome. What was that last comment? Hang on. Do I Edward, do I reckon WPS 
or the Ditex. I've had the WPS for 10 years. I love my WPS. I can use it as a as a as a um, w, the actual WPS itself, or I can use it as a delta pressure sensor. Um, there's been a couple of good videos on that. But as you can see, I didn't come without wherever it's gone. There you go. I've got my little Ditex with me as well, just in case I needed it. Uh, yeah, can't really recommend one above the other. We need them all. So, yeah. No, I don't think the camshafts are twisted, Jake. Um, I think they're just the wrong profile, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, EGR was uh, the EGR was off on this as well. EGR was stuck open, so uh, that also contributed a little bit. But the, you know, the the actual the in cylinder pressure there. It's proved that it's night and day difference with the camshafts. So there we go. Right, guys, I'm gonna go. I've got to go and get ready for Auto Mechanica now. I'll upload the files to Simply Dag YT, and then we'll have a live stream at the weekend to discuss exactly what's going on. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. You're awesome. <laughs>